Good morning, my people. You are welcome to a Global Solution for All Mankind. Um, my name is Dr. Wilson Tayo, and I'm very happy to join you again this morning to share with you uh, deep information that I believe is a divine direction. It's ready to solve and give somebody solution on some matters that are pertain to life in this uh, age that we live in today. God bless you so much for coming. I appreciate all of the people that are watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. May the Lord continue to empower you, increase you, and strengthen you. Now, today is a continuation of discussion about the robbers of your uh, star, destroyers of your destiny, and killers of your destiny. I want you to know that there are still many parts that they use. So the particular item that, another item that the people use to steal and destroy and kill and take away your star so that you cannot flourish, you cannot shine, you cannot do what God has intended you to do is you can, they always also use uh, the salt. They also use the salt. Now salt, we have different types of salt. We have different types of salt. Now, I gave you a definition yesterday about what they normally do when they want to destroy, they want to steal, they want to kill, they want to hijack some people's destiny and stars. The number one thing they do, they just identify their altar. Their, their altar is built with a covenant. There is no altar that can function without building up with a covenant. Every altar that is working, there is a covenant which uh, between the priest and the divine force that is involved with that altar. Like uh, our altar is dedicated by the divine covenant between Jesus and the builder of the altar. So, when we build the altar, we have words that we promise, and we have the oath that we take or a vow, and then we have a sacrifice that we give. So when we do that, we build up an altar. An altar is a center of agreement where we agree that we are going to serve this purpose. Therefore, they put that item on the altar and dedicate it for evil purposes. They dedicated for destroying, they dedicated for stealing, they make it and they pray over it to function on the favor of their own cause. And after that, they will come with that salt and then they use it for destroying the life of people. Now, an evil person can use that salt after dedicating it. What matters is the intent of the person. The next thing is the force behind the person. The third thing is the item that is being used to the person. The attitude and the purpose the person wants to attain when they apply the use of the item. So, when you find that your destiny has been tempered, your glory has lost, your star is defiled or robbed away. They're not shining. The blessing of many have been diverted. It goes to some people's house. Instead of knocking at your gate, it knocks in somebody's gate. These are problems that are being used. So if they have used the salt, they have used uh, any other item. With the salt, you can take that salt Put it on the altar of God. Pray over it with a good intent. Prophesy over it to work for you. Believe God. Attach it with the power of the Holy Spirit. Believe that this ingredient, as you are going to use it, everything in the realm of the Spirit that was coveted, that was planned, that was arranged to rob your destiny, 
and destroy your purpose in this life. That it will be terminated and be nullified. It will bring to naught everything that the enemies, the agents, the false prophets, the diviners, and all wicked in the realm of the spirit, they are projecting against you. Bring it down by the prayer of dedication on the altar of God. After that, you can use this sword and drop into the water. But the sword, the water that you have mixed with the sword. Three days while you are praying and you are fasting. Three days, destiny will be recovered. Your glory will begin to manifest and shine. Your stars will begin to light and begin to shine again. In every area that you feel something negative has been happening, I will advise you to take charge and do what I am directing here. There is a solution always, but people become too weak to embark on these things so that they can see a change. But I want to encourage everyone that hear the sound of my voice on this global solution for all mankind. I want you to know that it is being said that what God cannot do is not existing. But I want you to know that there are many things that have not been done because people are waiting God to come and do it. And God is sending information through the mouth of his servants. What should be done to bring a change in our life. This is a way you can block. This is a way you can destroy. This is a way you can restore back whatever the enemy has taken away from you in this manner. God bless you. I love you. I appreciate. Thank you for watching.